We've ruffled some feathers up north, as in Canada. All right, over the weekend, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau expressed his outrage that Canadian Muslims are thinking for themselves and expressing strong disagreement with moves to normalize radical sexual teachings in schools. Leave our kids alone! Leave our kids alone! Leave our kids alone! Many community supported Trudeau, and now what's he saying? He's saying the Muslims are being brainwashed. We've always had a concern. It's what's happening in our schools is getting worse and worse and worse. And now we've crossed the red line. Our children are our red line. Rather than perhaps reconsidering his nation's lurch to push these transgender and non-binary propaganda things on kids, Trudeau pulls a Hillary. Yeah, he blames the vast right-wing conspiracy. There is an awful lot of misinformation and disinformation. Uh, people on social media, particularly fueled by the American right wing, are uh, spreading a lot of untruths. These are people on the far right who have consistently stood against Muslim rights in the Muslim community. But they are weaponizing the issue of LGBT. Of course, the angle was the first in cable to showcase Muslim parents those who are fed up with sexual indoctrination squads and who are now working with social conservatives to stop the madness. Now, as for Trudeau, he's in his job for one reason, his last name. Well, maybe, maybe for another, maybe for his hair. It's pretty good. Now, personally, I love my Canadian friends and it's a gorgeous place. But we're not about to take moralistic lectures from people who allow China to directly influence their elections or to push more people to kill themselves, or to turn truckers into public enemies number one. Trudeau is a rather silly, fatuous man who touts multiculturalism, but really wants a dictatorship of ideas. Anyone who challenges his sacred cows may be canceled, punished, or in some cases, even jailed.